Hello Geneva and welcome to Geneva Works. I'm your host Kevin Starr. Summer means a lot of things for our community. Vacations, festivals, and for the city it means residential and commercial construction season. Here today to talk to us about our building division and permitting process is Building Commissioner Dustin Schultz. The role of the City of Geneva's Building Division, uh, let's start with we're part of the Community Development Department. Uh, our job is to provide a healthy and safe community uh, for our residents, visitors, business owners, and anyone else that uh, decides they want to stop in town. Uh, we, in, we are uh, put in charge of enforcing uh, not only the adopted building code, uh, but we are also put in charge of enforcing the city's zoning ordinance. In the city of Geneva, uh, the time that a permit is needed is any time that you're doing more than just painting, um, general landscaping, or flooring. Uh, any of those, anything besides that requires a permit. If there's any doubt, feel free to call our office, send us an email, visit us, and uh, we'd be glad to talk to you about it. To obtain a permit, uh, you have three different options. The first is in person. You can come down to City Hall at 109 James Street. We're on the second floor, so our entrance is off of James next to the library. We are open from 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. Uh, the second option is by email. You can email us at pdf, so Paul David Frank at geneva.il.us, and that is another way that you could submit to us. The final way is by fax. Uh, some of the smaller projects we can accept by fax. Our fax number is 630-262-0286. When you get a permit, uh, there will be inspections that are required throughout the project. Uh, depending on the size of project, we'll determine how many inspections and at what point you will need them. When you're issued your building permit, we will have a list of when those inspections are required uh, and we'll also give you a number and the way you can uh, request them. Uh, to be able to get a list of permits that are required by the city, you have two options. One is you can come down to City Hall at 109 James Street on the second floor next to the library. There we have packets and also uh, we can help you with any questions that you have. Uh, the other option is online. Online you can view all the packets um, and what permits are required. With, that with those packets we'll give you the information that you need to make sure that you get a complete submittal on your first attempt and it will expedite the process. Those packets can be found at www.geneva.il.us. The city has, in their ordinance, uh, construction hours that are allowed Monday through Saturday from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Sundays and holidays is 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. If you notice uh, that there is construction taking place in your neighborhood uh, during hours that are not designated permitted, uh, please contact the police department by calling 911. At that point, they will send an officer out to check it out. Uh, to get a hold of the Code Enforcement Division, um, you have three different ways that you can do that. The first is by phone. That number is 630-262-0284. The second is by email to Code Enforcement Officer Jim Forney at jforney, J-F-O-R-N-I, at geneva.il.us. And the third way is through um, our website, through an online request. If you're looking to purchase a property and you have questions regarding either the building construction or the zoning, please contact us and we'd be happy to walk through uh, any options or issues that you might have. That's a good question. We have lots of residents or potential new residents that contact us uh, because there is a home inspection that's been done uh, because there's a contract on the property. The home inspector's job is to point out 
the code requirements that are not current to today's standards. When the house was built or when it was last remodeled, that's the code that the project is under. So there, it is more than likely that they will find things that don't meet today's code. But they are permitted by law because when the house was built or last remodeled, it met the current code. Most of the time, the inspection report either will point out a very big issue that keeps you from wanting to purchase the home, or it gives a bunch of smaller items that you would use as a negotiation tool uh, to be able to purchase the property and be able to make those updates if you so choose. The city does not require, um, without a remodel, for things to be brought up to current code. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions in regards to that at 630-262-0280, and we would be glad to answer any questions you have. To find out more information, you can do several different steps. The first is you can visit us at 109 James Street. It's on the second floor of City Hall. We're next to the library. Entrance is off of James with the exterior stairs. Our office hours are 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. Another option is you feel free to call us at 630-262-0280 and one of the staff will be happy to answer any questions you have. Finally, you can visit our website at www.geneva.il.us. Go to City Departments, Community Development, and Building and Zoning. Under that area, there's several different er topics from frequently asked questions to what requires a permit to tree preservation to uh, historic preservation, anything that would include building and zoning. And as always, we're happy to help. That's why we're here. So feel free to give us a call. Thank you. That's all the time we have today for Geneva Works. I'd like to thank Dustin Schulze for his time and insight into our permitting process. We also thank you for watching. We hope to tune in again next month to see how Geneva is working for you.